time. I'm talking about LED tubes, fluorescent tube replacements. This is a T8 1200 millimeter tube. It's powered uh, from a single ended, it's a single ended input, so in other words, the power is fed from this end. This end is only for mechanical support in the tombstone. It has uh, extremely large heat sink at the back to reduce the temperature rise of the, of the fitting. The LED driver is half at one end and half at the other end. So the LED driver is not subject to the heat of the LED, LED uh, individual lights. This is an 18 watt light, which is the lowest wattage that we sell. We've got 18 watt, 20 watt and 22 watt. 18 watt is about equivalent to a 36 watt normal fluorescent light. This comes in uh, uh, warm, natural and uh, cool white. Um, this is, is a normal white light. Some of the features of this light is that it has a, uh, a, ch a hole there to cool the LED driver. Uh, another hole down this end to cool the LED driver, on, which is in two parts. The, uh, the heat sink is, um, has serrations in it, which actually increases its cooling surface area. And the temperature of this fitting is very cool. The fitting is approved to the Australian standard and is approved by the New South Wales Department of Fair Trading. Um, the light is, uh, has a life expectancy of a, a minimum of 40,000 hours and we offer a two year guarantee on it. We're able to do that because we're confident that the LED driver runs very cool, as does of course the LED chips run cool. But at the Achilles heel of any LED um, light in particular for uh, LED T8 is the LED driver. If the driver doesn't run cool, we don't have longevity. Longevity is, is a function of temperature. The LED light runs very cool and in a minute we'll show you the, uh, the temperature gradient of a LED light compared to a normal fluorescent light with a uh, thermal heat gun. Okay, we're measuring the temperature of a normal 36 watt fluorescent light and on the filament end and we're measuring around about 70 degrees on the filament end. Now we move now straight over to the LED light and it's measuring around about 30, 32, 34 degrees. Uh, having discussed the LED light, what we'd like to do now is I'll just install it into the fitting. Um, normally you'd have the fitting turned off, but I'm going to install it with the power on onto the fitting and uh, you can see it fire up. The LED light uh, consists of a, um, we, can, we can make it two ways. We can supply it with a LED starter, which allows you to just replace the light, replace the starter if it's a magnetic ballast and it will start straight away, no rewiring. If, however, you want to get about another half a watt or another watt extra efficiency, you're able to rewire the fitting and bypass the starter, bypass the magnetic ballast, and then put the, um, put the LED tube in and make it as efficient as possible. It's very easy to install the um, LED starter. You take the old starter out and you put the new starter in. goes. Then you take the LED light, put it in the fitting and hey presto, start straight away. It's that easy. Instantaneous starting.